What's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope everybody had a very, very, very Merry Christmas. A good, safe, and sound holiday and all of that good stuff. Um, it's that time of the week again. It's time for the weekly fragrance review and rotation. Now, it's going to be a little bit short this week because the boy was under the weather and it was... There was a couple of days where I didn't really go anywhere um, because I just did not feel good. But some of that will go into next week's video as well, now that I think about it. Because yeah, this goes Sunday through Saturday. So it's only gonna be five fragrances. And then going into next week, since as as I didn't go anywhere, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, that video is gonna be really short. But anyway, um, yeah. You know what it is oh please be sure to like because we have a goal we're trying to get every video to at least 50 to 75 likes your like may be the one to um, get us over the top so if you don't mind please smash that like button also you know share and if you haven't by all means so now let's get into it so what we're gonna talk about for those of you who are new to the channel this is just where I talk about the fragrances that I wore throughout the week, maybe the situation I wore them in, the compliments that I got from them. Yeah, just things like that, the reason that I wore them. Now, the first one, it was really, really cold and I thought I need to pull this out because it works better in the cold and it was a really good choice. Really, really cold and this was Sunday of last week and it is Bentley for men intense and I got three or four compliments on this fragrance and it was one from a friend of mine who I had uh, picked up a bottle of cologne for him he asked me about it. I saw it out in the wild picked it up for him so he came by my job to pay for it and he's like man what you got on and I told him Bentley for men intense and then trying to explain to him was well, my car company Bentley and he's just like oh they just kind of look at you like and they really don't get what you're saying, but love the fragrance. Talked about how good it smelled. Uh, several of my coworkers, two or three different ladies that came through my line was like, somebody smells really good. Is that you? What is that? And then again, you explain to them, Bentley for Men Intense. I paid $30 for this, 29 and some change for this a couple of years back at Burlington Coat Factory in Birmingham, Alabama. And you see the levels on it, so this one is one that doesn't take but maybe three to four sprays and you are good i think it's perfect for this time of the year especially for those of you who live up on the northeast in the cooler cooler climates where it turns cold and stays cold this is one that i think you definitely need in your collection i think it's signature scent worthy i think it could be a workhorse of a fragrance everything that i've smelled from the house of bentley is really really good so I have the original Bentley for men and this is the intense version. I like the original Bentley a little bit better because it's a little bit more wearable. But again, with the compliments that I got wearing this Sunday, I don't know. I don't know, that compliment fact may have given this one just a little bit of a boost. I don't know, I'll let you know because I'm probably gonna break out the other Bentley in a couple of days and drive it and see how it performs. But Bentley for men intense great fragrance especially if you can get this for around the 30 or 40 dollar price point i don't think you can go wrong with that that was what i wore to work sunday 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 which brings us into monday and i was strolling through tiktok and i came across uh the homegirl sarah from glam finds she was talking about breaking this fragrance back out and i said you know what i'm gonna break mine out from the house of azaro which is one of my um, yes from the House of Bizarro, from the Chrome line. And you know, Chrome is one of my favorite fragrances. This is Chrome Pure. Now, I think Pure may be a little bit misleading in the name of this fragrance, but nonetheless, I do think it's a, well, I take that back. I take that back because you do get a slight soapy vibe with it. And maybe that's why they named it Pure. I do pick up on some spices. It is very similar in, well, not similar. It's in the wheelhouse of uh, One Million uh, Spice Bomb. It's that spicy type of scent, but it does have a little bit of a soap note running through. 
the bottom of it. And I guess that's why they put it in a white bottle and called it pure. But from the house of Azaro, it is chrome pure. Did not receive any compliments, or did I? Seems like I did. Seems like I did get a, you smell good today, Trey, which again, <laughs> to me is always offensive because I'm thinking, when was the last time I didn't smell good? But anyway, chrome, pure, decent performance. Everything about it is, is good. Performance is good. Price point is good. It's not an outstanding performing fragrance, but it will get you through your event, your evening, your date. Occasions I would wear this. I wore it to work. I think it's a great work scent. A nice daily driver of a fragrance. Overlooked in the fragrance community. Doesn't get a lot of love. Doesn't get a lot of talk. And I think that's a shame. Again, sweet, spicy goodness. A nice fragrance to wear. Again, great for this time of the year where the days are a little bit cooler, cooler, cooler. That was what I wore Sunday, Monday. Now, Tuesday, I don't know what happened. I thought I was better. The bug kicked back up again Tuesday and I was sick, sick, sick. So I did not go anywhere Tuesday. Stayed in the bed. Well, most of it, uh, I was running back and forth. But that's too much information. So I didn't wear anything Tuesday. Got back at it Wednesday. Was able to get back out and go back to work. And what I wore Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday was from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch and it is fierce intense I always want to call this extreme now this smells like Fitch uh, fierce used to smell is it good yes it, is it a familiar DNA yeah it is because we've got several fragrances one of the Tommy Bahamas behind me smells like it uh, Ed Hardy Scars and Roses smells like it is it good yes it is a crowd pleasing compliment getting type of scent it stands out you will get noticed it's a how should i say this cocky man's type of fragrance you know bold guys type of fragrance this is not one of those that flies under the radar it's just it is what it is it's loud it's on front street it's a smoother version of of one million and i don't mean in that by the way that it smells i mean just one million is very loud, very brash, and so is uh, fierce, intense. But I like it. Again, I wore it to work. I like fragrances like this because they do um, last through the duration of my shift and they work well in the cold because this time of the year, I do wear either a sweatshirt or a hoodie to work over my um, white collared shirt, which they want us to wear for some dumb reason, but I will put a sweatshirt on over it. And these fragrances go really, really well in sweatshirt or hoodie type of weather because they just sit off in that fabric and they just smell good. So from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch, it is fierce intense. I like that, I like that a lot. That's what I wore Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I reached deep off into my bag of tricks and pulled out a fragrance that I have not worn in a while because the weather was starting to warm up because rain is coming as it rained all day, well, all evening, Christmas Eve, on into Christmas morning. Um, from the house of Perry Ellis, and it is Perry Ellis's Spirited. I've only heard one reviewer talk about this fragrance and it was many, many years ago and it was Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. I heard speak of this fragrance I saw it, was ecstatic to get it, and I'm glad I have it in my collection, and it is a gem. When you first spray it, and it first hits your skin for the first five seconds, you may be just a little bit off-putting, and you're gonna think, hmm, what have I done? Let it move. Let it move for just that four, five, maybe six seconds, and then you're gonna be hit with this sweet, woody, fruity nuance of a fragrance that I really just enjoyed the way this smelled on me. And I've talked lately about fragrances that um, are just so simple that they work. Now, I didn't get any compliments on this fragrance, but um, I enjoyed the way that it smelled and it worked. It puts me in the mind of Mont Blanc Legend Red. Um, just fragrances along those lines. It's just a light fresh, slightly fruity. The wood comes to the forefront and plays throughout the duration of the fragrance on your skin. And I think 
that is what I like, but you get subtle nuances of the fruitiness in it throughout the fragrance, and it's just good, man. And I got this at a really good deal. It was in the gift set, came with the shower gel, and then a little bitty small one, but yeah, and I think I paid $30 for it. I actually found this at Ross, um, yeah, at Ross before COVID, but I like it, and I will be wearing this again. If you see this, and you have a chance to pick this up, and you can pick it up for $20 or $30. I really think you should because it just works. It just flat out works. And I, here's the reason why I think you should add it to your collection. It's a year round fragrance. It's winter, summer, spring, or fall. And we talked about in the last video, how many fragrances does a man really need? This is one that I think you would get a lot of use out of. I think it goes any climate. It does lean to me more towards warmer weather but again it is woody so you can definitely wear it anytime you want it to anytime you want it to but the woodiness mixed with the fruitiness in it i do think kind of makes it lean more towards warmer weather but again i definitely think you can wear this anytime that you want to spirited i think is a good name for it it fits it made me feel pretty good when i was wearing it and i liked the way that it smelled on me and i thought to myself as I sprayed it on in the car, I was like, I've been wearing this more. What, what is wrong with me that I've been letting a gem like this just sit? But from now, it's a Perry Ellis. It is Perry Ellis Spirited. And that brings us to Friday, Friday, Friday. And Friday was a rough day. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to make it through work. I got ended up getting sick again. So I was like, man, what is world in the world is going on? But I made it. And the fragrance that I wore Friday is from the house of Versace. And it is Versace's Dell and Blue. And this is another one if you don't have. And you can pick this up probably right about now. You should start keeping your eyes on it. Because it's the day after Christmas. And you're going to start seeing a lot of those gift sets at TJ Maxx and Ross and Burlington and places like that be marked down. And for some reason, the Versace's seem to hit the rack stores in gift sets so keep your eye open arrows i know is one you'll see a lot of uh versace manual fresh is one you'll see a lot of versace per home is one you'll see a lot of and you'll occasionally run across a dylan blue got a lot of compliments with this one got the usual tray you smell good today from my co-workers um lady came through my line and she stopped she goes i don't know which one of y'all that is but somebody smells good and she kept talking about how good it smells. And I'm thinking, mm, this is Versace. It should smell good. But I think everybody needs this one in their collection. It's just, it's a workhorse. It's a workhorse. It's a blue fragrance. It lasts and lasts on your skin. This is one you have to be careful with and not overspray this one. Because if you overspray this one, it's going to be on your skin for hours. And it's definitely going to be on your clothes for hours. But I will say this, guys. I will tell you this. If you're going to see your lady... After y'all get back from the sizzler and y'all going to do some adult activities and you're laying across the bed with her watching movies and you're at her place and this gets on the bed sheets, it's going to be there a minute. It's going to be there a minute. So let this get tangled up in them bed sheets. You'll thank me later. Trust me. You'll thank me later because when I got home from work, now this again, this is working after working five hours, I laid across my bed. And some kind of way it got in my comforter and I could smell it the next day like looking around and, and found just a little spot on my bed where, they, where it had just transferred so yeah from the house of Versace it is Dylan Blue okay now that's it that's all I got again this was a rough week because I missed a day of work and then I didn't do anything Saturday because I was still down you know, how much time is it 15 minutes um, I want to talk to you real quick about this. Uh, I'm fixing to make a purchase fragrance wise and I'm not sure what to get. Here are I think four that are amongst my top. One is Azaro's Wanted Parfum, the silver bottle. The other one is Azaro's Most Wanted Parfum and then Azaro's Chrome Extreme, Azaro's Chrome 
EDP and then Azaro's Chrome Perfume are on the list as well. And then I'm heavily, heavily thinking about either um, 1 million Elixir and 1 million, I think it's Royal. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them, but those are some of the fragrances that I'm thinking about purchasing. So I received some money from a friend for Christmas and next month I will be getting a little bit of money from YouTube. So that's, that's where your boy is leaning. I'm leaning towards those fragrances. Let me know what you think. And always, 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 if you know of some inexpensive fragrances that are really, really good that you think I should add to my collection that would be versatile and that you think I would get some, some use out of and that you think I would like, please be sure to leave it in the comments below so we can discuss it. With that being said, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. But again, man, I hope you all had a beautiful, beautiful Christmas, a beautiful holiday, and I hope you all enjoyed yourself and just relaxed and took time off from work so and with that being said you already know listen i really love you all and i appreciate everything that you do for our channel i appreciate you because without y'all i'm just a, a, a dummy sitting here talking to itself and i do that enough throughout the day but listen i do greatly appreciate each and every one of you and i thank you for being the absolute best part of this channel and the best subs in the game so with that being said i love you all like share and sub any of these fragrances that you want to try i do have a few decants remaining um, and if you reached out to me on the last video in the comment section email me i always put my email that's the best way to let me know what decants you're wanting and again of course for a small fee i will get it in the mail to you but i love you all and may god bless you all until next time guys peace